Okay, so I picked up this e.l.f. Diva Beauty Book from Target. And it was only $6. And then inside, it has all of this. And then over here, it has steps on what eyeshadows to use and where to put them. So I'm just going to go along with this and see how it turns out. So I guess this is kind of like a review. So let's just see how this goes. First, I'm going to start off with my foundation. This is the L'Oreal True Match. And I am in the color Nut Brown. Just going to pour some on the back of my hand. I always pour way too much, but. Dog it everywhere. Just trying to use up what I have my hand. It's impossible for me to do a talk through video because everybody is annoying in this house. So I'm using the Bare Essentials Max Covered Face Brush. I'm just going to blend it all in. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Mary Kay Medium Coverage Foundation in the color 400 Beige. And I'm going to apply that to the bridge of my nose, my forehead, under my eyes, and my chin. And to apply it, I'm going to be using this foundation and concealer brush from the drugstore. Now I'm just going to blend it in with the foundation side. You want to make sure to pat it in rather than sweep it in because you'll just mess up that first layer of mascara that you already did. To set that I'm using this L'Oreal True Match powder in the color um, Natural Beige. I'm just going to use it on an equal tools foundation brush. Okay, so now for the eyes, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Diva Beauty book that I got from Target. And it was only $6, so I figured I would give it a try. I love e.l.f. products, so I said why not. And, yeah. So over here, these are the steps. So I will read them aloud and then go from there. Step 1 says, with the eyeshadow applicator, apply light eyeshadow color to the brow bone and inner corner of the eye to highlight for enchanting effect. So I'm going to be using this light white shade right here for the brow bone and inner tear duct. This is what that brush is. I'm looking for this one. So this is the applicator that it comes with, and I don't think I'm going to be using it, but I'll give it a try and see how I like it. Oh. I'm just going to blend it in with my finger because that was like a lot of product. Same on this side. And then for the inner tear duct, I'm going to do the same thing with the same color.
Okay, so that is that part. The second step says blend one of the mid-tone eyeshadow colors onto the eyelid from the lash line to the crease to define the eye. So, I think what I'm going to do is just go in order of how these are um, arranged. So I use this one for the brow bone and the inner tear duct and I think I'm going to use this one here for the second step. So I'm going to use a blending brush for this and this is just a no name um, brush. So blend one of the mid-toned eyeshadow colors onto the eyelid from the lash line to the crease to the final eye. So I'm just going to take that on this brush here. And take it to the crease and do windshield wiper motions. And same for the other side. For the third step, it says apply one of the darkest eyeshadow colors to the outer third of the eyelid and crease, blending as you go and blending the color gradually to contour. Smudge a little color below the bottom lash line for a more dramatic look. Um, so one of the darkest shades, there are three dark shades I would say in here which is this color here, this color, and this color. I'm going to, I'm just going to do this color here. And it's like a um, gray sparkly color. It has like a blue undertone to it, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to use this brush here for that just to pack on that color so on this elf blending brush I'm going to take that same color and apply it into the crease area okay so that is that for that color um, this is kind of like a really simple look so I'm going to add um, the gold shade that's in here to the lid instead of just that mid-toned color for more of a like, pop, you know. So I'm just going to use that same brush, pack some of that color on here, and then... So instead of taking that same color that I used on the um, the outer corner in the crease, I'm going to take the black color and um, just an angled brush and apply that to the lower lash line. To give it a little bit more color, I'm going to take this pink shade that is right here. And with the same angled brush, I'm just going to put that down at the inner corner. I feel like this look is really dark and something that I'm not used to, but I'm pretty sure this is just limited time for um, Halloween. It doesn't say that, but I would just figure it is just because the look of it and it was in the Halloween section, so... I'm going to apply some eyeliner, and this is the e.l.f. Precision Liquid Eyeliner. I'm going to do a wing, of course, the black shade, and apply it right here.
from the tray and trim if needed to fit your eye. Apply thin amount of glue along the entire length of the lash strip and allow the glue to sit until tacky. Place the lash as close to your lash line as possible, working from the center out. Hold the lash in place until it has a chance to hold. Repeat on opposite eye. So I don't wear false lashes, but I guess for the sake of the video, I'm going to try them. Alright, so for the last step, it says to finish off your look, apply the hot fuchsia lip color to your lips and blend into complete your gorgeous look. So that's that. So I'm just going to be taking this and applying it. I'll swatch it on my hand. It's like, it's like a sheer kind of color. But I have a chapstick on, so I need to... It smells weird. It's a pretty color. So I'm going to finish the rest of my face and I will be back to show you the completed look and talk about if I like this and all that fun stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished the rest of my face. So now I'm just going to talk about this little palette thing. So for the price, I really like it. Um I'm not sure about the look. I don't like it that much. And it's not the eyeshadow. It's just, I don't know. I just don't think it looks well on me. But, I mean, with the, all the colors, you can create many different looks in it. And um, these are all really pretty pigmented. Especially the lip gloss. I was really surprised by the lip gloss. Um, I like that it tells you like what steps to take and all of that stuff that's really neat and different so that's pretty cool and then um, the eyelashes are really pretty dramatic and I don't wear lashes ever so they're like really irritating my eyes and the lash band is like poking me and it's just not a good time but if you're somebody who wears eyelashes a lot then that won't be a problem for you obviously um, so the eyeliner that I used really was not pigmented. You can see that it barely did anything for my lash or my uh, my waterline. So I don't think I would recommend this. Um, but it comes in the palette, so it, you know you can't really say no to it. But um, definitely go over it with a eyeshadow to set it or if you have a different eyeliner that you know that's going to last all day then de definitely use that one so for the lip gloss I really liked it when I swatched it it looked like it was pretty sheer but it's not at all I really like this color a lot um, so yeah it's just it's like a little bit bigger than my finger but it should last a while I really like that color Overall, I really like this, and they had several ones, um, but I got the Diva one, and I'll probably maybe do another look with these, so, yeah. Um, I don't know, I think that's about it. I don't have much more to say, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!